what is up risk takers welcome to the kill beat strategy i am pete the top player in risk level domination and here we are with another round of europe advanced progressive capitals everyone's favorite The risk meta settings, folks. What can I tell you? We are in the fourth position, planes yellow. We have a massive center blizzard that completely cuts the map in half. So can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way means uh, this also. So, wow. So this map is a U shape. Cool. Okay. This map is a, is a U shape. Where do I want to be in a U shaped map? Very, very interesting board. Okay. Yep. Blue blue locks off the bottom left-ish region. I think Dinaridis here is the play. Yeah, these blizzards are incredible. <laughs> these blizzards are fucking amazing. Um, I'm just, I'm taking aback, folks. These are... You know, we get them. We get them once in a while on the stream. Holy shit. Uh, hanging out with 200 of my friends, folks. Thank you for uh, thank you for the raid here. Bunzi. Sorry you did not advance. The lovely and hot. Hotter than ever. Buns. Thank you. Um, Kyle likes Gascony. Yeah, well, Orange doesn't take it. Orange takes a pile of poo instead. Um, so I have to neighbor cap. I still like Dinaridis, but I like it a lot less, obviously, with the uh, yellow four there. I mean, you really have to kind of predict who's where. So we got two players on the left, one player on the right. I want to be on the right as well. So I am going to neighbor cap that four, and we're just going to see how that cookie crumbles, I think. But these blizzards are crazy fucking awesome. Um, yeah, so the one point choke up at the top, if anyone takes this, 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 or this, they literally cut the map in half. Um, there's no way around from the east to the west except for this corridor, right? The entire map chokes up this way, which is really, really, really interesting. Anyone who caps up there is uh, playing a dangerous game, but we shall see. Okay, first act we got Blue, the blue player, uh, General Banzai. One nine four five five from Switzerland. The second position of the purple player is Dead Hunter from the United Kingdom, uh, who uses numbers instead of letters for his name and capped where I wanted to go. And I still went where I wanted to go, which doesn't usually happen. Usually we uh, pivot when someone caps next to where we want to go. In the third position, Band. We got General Band. One two eight zero two from France. I'm in the fourth position, playing as yellow. In the fifth position, we have Eif Jan Lump. 1907 from Germany, playing as white in the fifth seat, and the ultimate seat is Bretters. 25 from USA. Let's go. The fuck are these blizzards? These blizzards are sick, eh? Blizzards are very, very sick. Just goes for it right off the bat. Good dice? Oh, he threatens me. He's pissed off that I broke his bono. Or that I broke his uh, I broke his position. That's fine. It's totally fine. I like that threat. That was a good threat. I feel your anger towards me. Dude, Orange fucking pissed away a great, great Gascony cap. Hey, look at this. One point on Spain and Africa and a piece of the other Africa and a piece of Split Italy. Just fucking nuts. Yeah, he's just gonna just go poppy poppy time. He's just no, he's just gonna take Africa poorly. Okay, good job. Sucks to suck. We're not too worried about orange based on that play pattern. Um, is it good or bad to cap at the choke point? Um, ooh, it's a, bit, it's a dynamic. It's a bit of a dynamic question. Um, is it good or bad to cap on the choke point? It's good long term. It might be bad short term, depending on who's around you. And the the might be really matters, right? I don't think blue breaks me. Took that extra orange territory just because I'm trying to move out here and here. If I can control the bottom right, or at least negotiated control with purple, purple and I just don't go through attrition right away. If someone's in there, white's in there. 
White is in there. White shows us a cap and a split bonus. All right, so we know where white is. Do we know where, can we infer where red is? Because that'll figure out the whole board. White is here. So I'm sandwiched actually between white and purple, which is not good. That's very shitty. Hello, Corbina. How am I today? I'm great, thank you. I'm very well. How are you? Okay, red. We see no action from red. Okay, we saw Fortify. Red has a four in South Russia. White might be in Scandi and just snipe the African bonus, then why would we have seen a nine? <laughs> we saw a nine there, right? That's almost certainly White's capital. Almost certainly this is White's capital. Okay, and blue is taken splittily and realized that orange is inside and threatens the cap. You check the cap odds, folks. You check the cap odds. Orange is not going to be happy about that. Does the nine pull back? It does. Right. Okay. Purple holds. Does purple break? Let's learn about the dead, the dead hunter, folks. Hunting the dead. Am I already dead and I don't know it? Let's find out. Uh. Why would you put a four guard? Four doesn't make any sense. Exhaust somewhere I can't see. Uh, or hope Orange put some troops on his capital. <laughs> yeah. All right, so blue does have splittily. Orange took white's cap. We got to take a look. If that was indeed the white cap, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe white didn't put troops on his capital. Okay. 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 What's happening? What's happening in the pocket? What's happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm glad I figured out where his fucking cap was. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love it, folks. I fucking love it. <laughs> Thank you, Rollo Fins, for the sub there. Thank you so much. It was indeed a clown fiesta. <laughs> What's Red getting? So Red's in the top of the map, right? Red's getting nine. Red probably is noob corner. Okay, so White's cap. Pete's. Purple's. Orange is piece of shit. Blue. Blue holds splittily. I hope... Blue continues to pressure on this line. Um, and I would figure red is somewhere here. Scandi or Great Britain. I don't know what's so green about it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, blue doesn't pressure orange. Takes France. I mean, Orange should see that he's being pressured. Uh, <laughs> I like Blue's position the, the most.
Purple goes positive. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's always nice to be reminded of the fact that caps don't work. I'm going to break Italy. That's orange. Okay. Mm -hmm. White is being allowed to exist in Russia. No, white's a bot. Okay. I think a red wins this game. It would be my guess. I think being offset in this like top corner. I mean, I'm at an end point now, which I like. An end point keeps me alive for a reasonably long time, but I'm going to be off bonus and uh, purple's going to have plus six now. I'll expand into my plus four. They'll get plus eight a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. Yeah, I kind of need to be at war with purple. Because there's nothing that he can let me have, right? He's not going to let me hold anything. Huh. He also got really good dice. We'll see how that goes. Do they take the second plus four? Yeah, now Lou's working on Italy again. Okay. I think orange is fucked because they're locked in their pocket. What's purple do? Just cap stacks, right? Yeah, Pearl says, I'm just not going to lose my position. Okay, orange trades. Finally take Africa way too late. Or to break Italy from the bottom line. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck are you manualing, dude? Don't do that. Are you going to fucking blitz the stack? Blitz the stack. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Orange fucking sucks. All right. How many troops come back to his capital? Seven. But I'm looking for any purple and orient. If we see purple and orient, we pop it. Okay, so the bot is up in Russia, right? The purple also was attacking with a cap. It makes more sense how he got good rolls. Caps don't attack. Um, caps don't have an advantage when, when attacking. Fake news. Caps have an advantage when defending over regular guys. Hmm. 
Man, Orange's cab is so shitty. Was Blue get? Nine from what? From France? I think Blue's also been kind of playing poorly. I want to see Red go this way. Maybe feed me the white kill. I'm surprised I have as much vision on the bottom left as I do. I can still kind of see what's going on. Game is overly compartmentalized. Yes, but that vision is quickly going to decline as Blue... Hopefully Blue exists large enough to confront Red in the top. Okay, purple's not really pushing. Yeah, purple's just a, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not gonna let you hold that. No chance of me letting you hold that. Okay, orange finally turns out my lights on his capital. Why are you manualing? What are you doing? Don't do that. Uh. All right, so white only gets three. And then Sets gets the six. My hope is that most of this is white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's how it is. All right, so I think the way this board goes, if it goes long enough, is someone wins up here. Like, blue's position might be better than red's because they eventually eat orange and then go into red. Unless... Still too soon to see. These blizzards are fucking crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they are fucking nuts, eh? What's up, Pizzo? How are ya? <laughs> blue sets. What does blue get? Eight troops. How do they use those eight troops? Blue needs to backdoor orange. Quickly. Purple's gonna cut the line in Greece again. Yeah, that's going that's going right into orange. Yep. Purple sense gets a ten. Yep. Opens the line, doesn't roll it. And orange now confronts blue. Orange likes to manual roll, folks. Or should just eat me and go into red? Yeah, he's going to have a hard time eating me. <laughs> Though, because I'm not dumb. Gonna be trickier for probably you mean things. Hot hands for orange. Uh-huh. It's going to be trickier for a purple eat me than he thinks it is. Okay, white now is 12 territories. Oh, 
When does white win Russia? The Finland cap super pocket would be crazy. Yeah, that'd be a sick cap. Hey, thank you, Fabian. Fabius Fabianus. Thanks so much. How come you capped there? I didn't. I capped here. I got my cap stolen. I uh, stole one. Then, what, rather, what happened is I stole this, then this one got stolen. Okay, red is working on. Yeah, see, now red is getting very strong. So at some point, red abuts purple before they abut me. It's exactly what I want. I want purple to get pressured by red. Okay, blue. Sets gets the 20. Does that go down into the Africa pocket? If blue and red are cool. That goes down into the Africa pocket. Okay, so blue is going to kill orange at some point. In the fairly near future, yes. Rubble's going to remove this now. Go pop, pop, and then finally encounter red. I actually quite like being at an endpoint on this board. Yes, that was well predicted. They don't extend into red. Yep. Okay. And yeah, orange is quite on the ropes. Is this it for white? We hope. Nope, it is not. Okay. Uh. Lucky I had a set there. Red gets the white kill. Hopefully uses those extra troops on purple. I want to see a, a red-purple war now. So as... Uh, blue defeats orange. Blue will then have nowhere to go but into red. Okay, red gets the white kill. Hopefully uses those troops on purple. Okay, no one cleans the pocket. Until he reaches my capital. I don't retake any of this. I hope that he doesn't hit the orange one. Because that feeds the or that actually feeds the orange kill to blue. And he finds my capital. Cool. And it's 47, so now we don't have to fight anymore. I will just be taking cards. Yes. And now he reveals. He does take orange. Okay. So blue gets the orange kill. Probably now, and then fights red. I know. Blue got beat on hard.
Purple can't kill me. I thought you were into something different these days. And that thing was Europe advanced progressive capitals. All right. Purple, Sask is the 35. Do they try and interrupt red? Looks like they do, and we see war. We see war between red and purple. Great. Great. I wanted to see that. I will be cancer for purple. I will be metastatic cancer. Do we see orange survive to trade? I guess orange can't win because they're manual. Okay, they do set though. Yeah, that's gonna be bad for blue. Huh? Blue's is good game. Okay, orange wins the pocket. So orange pressures red here after they kill blue. Red is going to be facing a two-front war. So I think the conclusion is capping at the top of the uh, U-shape is probably bad. And I think you actually want to be at one of the endpoints. So me luckily stealing the white cap is, I think, long-term a good thing. Well, it still really depends on who plays it and how they play it. Um, that's what I think, at least. Okay, orange hit some blue. Theme from Jaws. And we're gonna see red set and come into purple hard. Or not. Or not. New position since I am furthest from the snowball because I'm on the other side of the U. Right. Well, I mean, red's still going to have to encounter orange. I don't think orange has the ability. Oh, okay. The blue kill was in Sevastopol. Very interesting. The blue kill was in Sevastopol. Red saw that. Now red uses those troops on purple. Problem is that red's going to be facing a war from two sides, but then again, so is purple. I just need to keep my cap strong. Cap is really shitty. I would never have capped there. Uh, what a crazy blizzard set I know. These fucking set, the, these blizzards are sick. He needs to kill orange, yes. Red needs to kill orange. Because there's two players on the right hand side, only one player on the left. If you're red, um, winning the war against Orange would be paramount. Okay, probably hitting a lot of red again. Okay. He's really smacking them. A real, real smackerino, folks. All right, so red's going to have cards. We hope they go into purple. Well, eyes are kind of glued to the screen right now. Still, second, still getting through. Yeah, we got another fucking set on three, baby. We're going to be fucking cancer. We're going to be metastatic cancer for purple, this fucking guy. <laughs> Come on, Red. Okay, that's not enough. Purple's gonna keep beating you. 
Red moves quick. Ah, looks like red won the corner. <laughs> How do you win now? Red over commits to purple. Oh, just took a card and passed, eh? All right, Red. Who do you give second to? Oh, he moved to a single capital. Guess what, folks? The beatman gets his cap back. <laughs> He's round! Can we car can we fucking reverse card block red? Is that a thing that's possible, folks? <laughs> red has too much, right? That's not actually possible. Infinite traded until red decides who dies first. I think that would be a very interesting turn of events, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that I have more troops than this asshole. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a. Oh, shit! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, did you? Oh, purple, no. Purple. I told you I was going to be fucking cancer. Okay, red sets kills purple and easily defeats me by having a massive, massively superior board position. And that's the game, folks. We get second. All right, let's let's have some fun. Yep. 
It's a 219 cap in St. Petersburg. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along and ride with me. What a cool board! That was awesome. That was awesome. Fuck you, purple. I'm glad you're dead. Suck my fucking cock, stealing my fucking bonus. Maybe, who knows? Maybe we could have done something together. We'll never know. I'm glad you got third. I got my revenge. He died. What do you mean? I didn't have to kill him. He died. I was still playing to win. <laughs> if Who knows, right? We didn't know where the cap line was up there. So maybe if I pulled a crazy move like around the top and like recap somewhere, like I still wasn't 100% guaranteed always dead. I was still like trying to pay, play to win rather than uh, just play to revenge on an expert. My buddy, the dead hunter. Folks, thank you for watching. Um, defeating... A novice, a beginner, an expert, and a novice, and losing to an intermediate GG Bretters. Well played, good game, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.